Okay, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to do this in a uh, couple of takes. Um, first off, um, people keep asking me about the colors, and I will um, tell you about my colors. This would be a perfect starter set. This is what I'd choose. So you don't have to go and buy 500 milliliters. It's not necessary. Um, they come in 120 milliliters. Uh, 250, 500, and the titanium white they have also in one liter. But so you can just choose what you want to do. What I would do is buy 500 milliliters of the titanium white because this is uh, something that you're going to be using a lot of. What you look for, and everyone sells this, even Dick Blick, you have to just look for it Windsor and Newton, Galeria. On their website they have a tube but if you click on it and you go to a 250 or 500 milliliters uh, you will uh, see that they have these sizes also so what you do is you buy 500 milliliters of titanium white because you use that a lot now to get those beautiful turquoise colors you buy phalo blue this one phalo blue and phalo green. Now the numbers are 522 and 516. Now these two colors together make all the shades of turquoise you can imagine because if you put a little more blue in it it'll go to blue, put a little more green than the blue it'll go to green turquoise and you can make six million shades of turquoise. <laughs> I exaggerate a little bit. So you can make very, very, very many colors of turquoise. All you have to do is add more or less of the, the titanium white. So you start off with a tiny little bit of blue and green, and then you add the white. Now, if, it's, um, if you add too much white, no problem. Just add a little bit more of the blue and the green, and it'll deepen the color. So that's pretty cool. For the background colors, I uh, usually use white or a sort of an eggshell color. And that's when I buy this one, Naples Yellow, because it's a warm beige color. You can do it with um, Titanium Buff, which is a colder color of uh, beige. But this is the warm color. So this is a opaque color and it's number 422. So for the people that are writing this down, 422, oh, and I didn't name this one, this is 644. I'll, I'll give you the numbers in, in a row at the end of this video. Then, make sure you get this one, the transparent one. It's important. It's number uh, 074, and it's burnt sienna, but transparent. Then we go to... The brown. I'm going to be using burnt umber, but usually I use Van Dyke brown, which I add a little bit of orange or red to warm it up. But this is already a little bit warmer brown, so you can go to, straight to burnt umber. The number is 076. And like I said, you can just buy a little tube, 120 milliliters. It'll go a long way. The yellow I use is cadmium yellow deep hue it's a semi-transparent you can see by the little square that is split down the middle uh, it's number 115 so that's that color then I use this one it's cadmium orange hue which is also semi-transparent and the number is 090 and then for the blue that everyone was asking about which is almost empty, but I have new paint on the way, don't worry. This is Cerulean Blue Who. It is an opaque color, and the number is 138. And that's this color. When you varnish it, it'll make it a little bit different. You know, it'll come back as this color, but not all the way, because we've mixed a lot of colors in there. Okay, so... Now, I'll go through all the numbers, write them down. 
644 titanium white 422 naples yellow 076 burnt umber 115 cadmium deep hue the uh, cadmium yellow deep hue 090 Cad cadmium orange hue this one my love i love this color burnt sienna 074 phalo green 522 and phalo blue 516 these are uh, transparent by the way and then this one opaque 138 and it's cerulean blue hue now that is the um the set that i would uh, start out with and like i said i'll repeat it once again you don't have to buy the big 500 milliliters um, because I pour a lot it's you know more efficient for me to buy them big but if you're starting out you only need to buy the 120 milliliter tubes and then I would suggest you buy 500 milliliters of titanium white because you mix it a lot okay that's that now, I promised a free print for everyone, not only for the sponsors, no. This is for everyone, and it is a beautiful print. Um, I, I put a little uh, border around it, but you know, you don't have to. You can let the printer cut it off. I don't mind. Uh, this one you can print pretty big. Uh, I saw something like, well, three foot by two, f three feet by two feet, something, but really big. But um, if you want to be on the safe side, let your printer advise you how big that he can print it. And uh, it will, uh, I, I zoomed in in Photoshop and I got it pretty big. So you can go pretty big if you want to. Now this is, um, uh, I printed on just normal, really cheap printer paper. I do spray it with a little bit of acrylic spray just you know to fixate and give it a UV protection because I hang it on the wall here in the studio the prints I give away I usually do that but under the video you will find a link to my Google Drive where I do all the giveaways uh, the giveaway prints and it will take you to that part of my drive you can download it for free and there are all the prints that I've given away this year are in the same uh, folder so anything you see there uh, feel free to download it um, I don't think it would be nice if you sold my prints because that I don't want you know I don't want people to do that but you can use it for yourself or you can print one to give away that's perfectly okay just don't sell them okay guys so uh, if you like this print there you can go and download it now uh, a while back I found a picture of stuff I used to do and this is a long time ago because it was November 1995 and I'll try to that red thing that's going over it I don't know that's <clears throat> something that happened to the uh, that happened to the uh, photo but that's what I used to do. This is also acrylic paint. Here, I'll tell you what it what it, <laughs> This is really personal. Okay, what you see here, let me get in real close. You th see three men in in sort of these yeah, I don't know how you call those long flowing gown things with the with the hats on top, but these and you can't see down here but here's a lot of red because these are three murderers going to heaven yes this is personal guys so bear with me um, I believe that no matter what you do in life everyone goes to heaven because there is no hell but 
you will be judged. So these three murderers are going to heaven, but they're going to be judged by God, whatever you want to call it. And um, because I know a lot of people say Allah, God, uh, higher something, you know, whatever you think it is, it is. Um, I think everyone gets uh, a chance to tell them that they're sorry, that they'd like to change their life, that they'd like to do it differently. And I believe in reincarnation. So that's what I think it is. Here you have three angels sort of in the light, sort of playing, being happy. They're not reincarnated yet. So they're sort of up there. You guys are going to think I'm completely off my rocker, but I don't care. Now, this one, um, I had a lot of people comment on this one because this is a, uh, this was in a gallery and um, a lot of people talked about this painting. Some said it's um, a woman who is receiving a child and some said it's a woman that is losing a child. So it's what you want to, how you want to see it. And that was kind of funny for me because I, I, I was thinking it's a woman who is has lost a child and sending her child to heaven. But a lot of people thought it was a woman receiving a child. So that was that was a sort of an eye opener. And um, I think I have them all except this one. I gave that one away. Someone was really um, they had tears in their eyes and they were all about fussing about that painting. And I said, well, you know what, if you like it that much, you can have it. Um, but this is um, something I did a while back. I have done more realistic stuff, but I'm not really into realistic anymore. I can't even doodle anymore because of um, this goes really fast. So you prep your canvases, you mix your paint, and that's all a part of enjoying the, the colors and the paint and what you're going to do. Then you pour it maybe manipulate it a little bit, tilting here and there, and then that's it. So if you really want to do like do doodling or santangle or whatever you call it, you know, you have to have that Zen and you want to sit there and be totally calm and just, you know, repeat those patterns. And um, because I'm doing this, I think I've lost the Zen to do that. That's why I did the background before I went um, to the uh, to the island that I was going to doodle on and I was there and I started doodling and it was I don't know I didn't f it didn't feel like what it felt like earlier you know when I got all zen and I could do that for hours on end couldn't anymore so that's it now one last thank you for the um, sponsors of September there you go that's the new list, so I want to thank everyone for that. Um, there are some people that are, I think they are really jealous of the, um, of all the people that I have on my channel, the subscribers and all the reactions I get, because I get a lot of reactions. And um, some people are very nasty. They say that I beg for money. Come on, guys, you've never heard me say, oh, please, please give me money. No, no, no. All I do is thank the people that have. This is a totally free thing that people may do. And um, there's no... If I if I wanted it every month, I'd, I would have kept Patreon, right? Because when you sign up with Patreon, that is a, a monthly occurring thing that you have to donate. But doing it via PayPal just means that if you want to skip a month, you skip a month. And if you want to skip six months, you skip it. You know, it's totally free and I appreciate the people that do because I know that they just think about me that month and they have uh, given me uh, a little something to support my channel. And in the end, I give out, of course, two paintings, sometimes one, sometimes three, depends on uh, how many people are sponsoring. So I want to thank everyone for that. Now I'm going to, um, I'll just, I'll just upload this video because I thought it was important about the paint. Um, our shop is fully uh, stocked again because I got my uh, big order from Vallejo um, yesterday. 
So we have everything, all the pouring mediums, everything is there. Um, in the next video, I'll talk about the uh, mixing and uh, what I put in it, because that changes every week. You all know me by now. I keep experimenting with what I put in the paint. And with that, I am so sure that it has nothing to do with so many grams of this and so many grams of that. It's just not like baking a cake. And that's what I try to tell all my viewers that it's just about experimenting. And you have this, the basic stuff that you want to put in the paint because they're all binders. And as long as you do that, you're safe. You can do anything you want. You can put anything in there you really want. The only thing that I don't put in, in my paint is like dishwash soap. Some people do that. Um, all kinds of oils, like, I don't know what they put all in there. <laughs> it's, sometimes it's crazy, but I don't put like olive oil in there or linseed, linseed oil or something like that. We don't do that. All, all the, all the, the oils I put in is only silicone oil. So that's, uh, that's it. And of course you have, if you can't get silicone oil, which I can almost not believe because on eBay they sell uh, treadmill lubricants. Everyone can buy it and that's 100% silicone. So that works fine. But some people do the hair products. I'm just not sure because there is a, a large amount of dimethicone in there. That's right. But there's also other substance substances in there that we don't know what that's going to do to the paint over time. And I know some people say, well, it's not going to, you know, fall off the canvas, not, not while I'm still living, but you know, do you really want to sell that? I'm not sure. So I'd like to keep it on the professional side, the quality paints, the quality mediums. And I think that's a good way to go, especially if you get recognized and you have a lot of sales, you want to keep it as archival and professional as you can, because that's a good thing to do. Okay, guys, love you all to pieces. See you in a bit.